The starters for the Utah Jazz. Jeremy Lamb out there with Stockton. And it's Rudy Gobert. And there's Malone. And it's Franklin into the three. Now here's Lamb. Passes to Malone. Shot clock at six. Bill Lamb here with the rebound. Outside Dumars. Bodman with a screen on Lamb. To the inside. And it's blocked! And he keeps control of the ball. Here's Franklin, covered by Dumas. Here's Malone. Rebound, Detroit. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I spoke with Detroit's head coach. He knows they'll get the advantage if they can neutralize Rudy Gobert on the offensive end. Gobert's height and presence inside makes it really difficult for help defenders to leave him on drives. They'll try to stay at home in rotations a bit more because of that. But that's a pick-your-poison situation. Guys? Thank you, David. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And here is Serbia, stolen by Stockton. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Serbiak passes to Dumas. The 15-footer. And it's Malone with the rebound. For the Detroit Pistons, they come in off the loss to the Golden State Warriors. Pass to Franklin. Drives to the hoop. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus time points time when you can get them. All time. All right. Look who's coming on to the court. Come on. Get back for your Pistons dance show. All right, fans. That was your Pistons dancing. The dance team. Make some noise, fans. Snocked in against Dumars. Inside. Here's Rodman. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Here's Stockton. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Stockton against Dumars. Here is Aguirre. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Uncovered at the rim. Finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Malone gets the bucket. Yeah, you, you gotta love the recognition there. Stockton just so unselfish. Always looking to find the open man. That's the lean beer. And here is Serbia. Pistons passing it around. Here's Rodman. A shot off that time. And Utah the other way now. Their last game, a win against San Antonio. Looking to carry that into this one. Yeah, they really snuffed that one out. Didn't execute all that well. Fortunate to walk away with the W. And we talk about gutsy wins and on a night like that. In the last game where they just did not shoot it well. That's a, a steal during a regular season. Here's Dumars. John Stockton making his last shot. Dumars dishes to Rodman. He's off on that one. Good work defensively by Malone. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. Gobert, the screen. And there's another one for the Jams. And Stockton almost impossible to guard in the pick and roll. When he gets a little daylight, he is always ready to pull the trigger. Now, here's Dumas. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. And it's Malone missing. 
teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Here's Zerbiak, and the three ball is good. Yeah, how about the range there from Zerbiak? He doesn't hesitate when pulling from outside. Now the pass to Malone. Good work defensively by Rodman. The Pistons trailing. Aguirre kicks to Dumas. Passes it to Serbia. To the paint. There's Aguirre. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Here's Stockton. Rodman grabs the miss. Rodman's got four rebounds in this game. Dumars against Stockton. Dumars, the pass to Zerbiak. Six to shoot. Shoots. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Pass to Stockton. Back to Lamb. Kicks it to Malone. Pass to Lamb. Here's Franklin. Lamb with the ball. Stockton outside. From deep. Rebounded by Lambeer. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Here is Aguirre. Out to the wing. And here is Serbia. Misses off the left eye. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. And Stockton is simply one of the best, especially when it comes to finding people on the floor. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. And the Pistons, an entirely new group now out there. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Alex Lenz checked in for Gobert. Fry comes in for Malone. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Franklin. And it's Reggie Bullock in for Lamb. Now, here is Young. Trains the three-pointer. We're yeah, finding the weakness in the defense. That's the court savvy of Thomas at work. Lenz with a screen on Thomas. Stockton. A shot that time, not on target. Now the Pistons take it the other way. Young with the ball. Picked up by Stockton. Young passes to Thomas. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And it's Anderson with the ball for the jam. Bullock kicks to Stockton. Back to Bullock. He dishes it to Fry. Stockton from outside. Fry finds Anderson. Off target with his three. The Pistons on offense. Trailing by two. And it's Wagner missing. Now here's Bullock. Tight defense on him. Dishes at the land. The pass to Stockton. Oh, no good with the triple. Not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. The game now all time. And though Thomas is great from the perimeter, he has a toughness and a willingness to go in amongst the trees and, and kind of mix it up. Now here's Bullock. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Young inside. He's covered by Stockton. Young dishes to Thomas. Pass to Wagner. Young in the corner. From deep three-point range. Rebound, Utah. Anderson outside. Now the dish to Stockton. Kicks it to Bullock. The basket is good. The assist from Stockton. Stockton's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. 
Thomas passes to Young. To the middle. Here's Wagner. The shot comes out. The Jazz go the other way with it. Bullock with it. There's the feed to land. It's stolen by Marjanovic. Thomas with the ball. Picked up by Stockton. Young. It's hauled in by Fry. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but looked like plenty of room. Stockton against Marjanovic. Here's Len and the dunk by Len. Yeah, Len's not going to settle for anything else. A, a dunk on the inside goes up strong. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Thomas. Driving the lane. Can't hit from in close. Yeah, better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Here's Anderson. Again, the Jazz score. Anderson. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. Here's Young, following the basket by Kyle Anderson. Stolen by Anderson. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the first. And Stockton, here we go. And the rejection by Marjanovic. And out of bounds, the Pistons will take it. Hope he's checked in for Vaughn. Jack, substitution. Forty-four seconds left here in the opening quarter. Pass to Marjanovic. Kicks to Thomas. To end the drought. Len grabs the board. Just doing the job on the backboard. Anderson outside. Down low. And the dunk by Lynn. Anderson has great vision as a point forward. Exceptional court awareness. Thomas against Allen. Young, a screen on Allen. Here's Pope. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And so it's Utah with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of the... And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Utah. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and getting some easy baskets. It also feels like they just got into a great rhythm from the three-point line right away in the game. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Wow. On the court for the Pistons. They've got Pope, Miles out there with Marjanovic. Then there's Dumars, and it's Aguirre in at the three spot. Pistons trail by six. Here's Pope. There's the pass to Marjanovic. Count it. Marjanovic has got his first two points. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Rudy Gobert may get overlooked, but his coach understands what he means to the Utah Jazz. Quinn Snyder says his presence on the floor gives us a chance. He's our most important player as far as how he anchors our team. He's the foundation. And Kevin, the way they win games, that's saying something. He is a defensive player of the year multiple times. Phenomenal play. Thanks, D.A. Pope kicks to Dumas. There's a screen by Marjanovic to the left wing. A three ball. And with that shot, the Jazz lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Lyles. Well, he's got that height advantage, and out on the perimeter, a smaller defender is just not going to contest. Allen outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. There's a player. Utah with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Passes it to Giddy. Oh, 
Wire grabs the miss. He kicks it to Dumars. Out to the right wing. And another three for Detroit. And just an excellent setup. Joe Dumars just plays with such poise and intelligence. The quintessential combo guard. Lynn with a screen on Aguirre. Giddy the pass to Lynn. Nice ball movement by Utah. Pistons by Joe Dumars. The Pistons making a change here. Rodman's checked in. Utah also making some changes as Abuki's checked in and Malone's subbed in for Channing Fry. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. As Abuki is screen on Aguirre, Giddy, the shot misses. And Detroit has possession. Only given up two points this quarter outside Dumars to the middle. He's it up and in off the pretty assist. Wires got the lead up to two now for the Pistons. Here's Giddy. With the assist. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Nobody near Allen. The Jazz with another miss. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Pass to Pope. It's deflected. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Allen outside. Pass to Malone. Shoots over Lyles. To the inside. Outside Dumont. That shot is off. And it's Utah the other way. Here's Franklin. No points in the game yet for him. Shoots over Lyles. Franklin can't hit. And it's Detroit's ball. They're on a 10-2 run here. To the paint. And stolen by Malone. Here's Giddy With the drive. That one's good. Just his third make brings him to three for eight in this game. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. The team's changing it up here. And now a chance to honor a player who has been on fire recently. His play has earned him player of the week. In the West. And the nature of big men in the league has evolved. And he's a perfect example of how valuable a guy like this can be on your team. He's had a tremendous stretch of basketball here lately. Here's Serbiak. Traps in the tray. Serbiak got six. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Stockton kicks to Bullock. The pass to Malone. Rebounded by the Pistons. Rodman's got six rebounds in the game. Passes it to Lambeer. Stocked in against Dumars. Hayward right side. Just five to shoot. Back to Dumars. The three. Rebound Utah. A three-point spread on the scoreboard. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Inside, here's Rodman. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. At the line for Detroit, Dennis Rodman. Shooting one. And Rodman, no good on that one. And as a free throw shooter, 
Robin has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. Bullet kicks to Stockton. Wants to get it to Malone and does. Over Hayward. That one's good. And the Piston lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Malone. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Hayward outside from past the arc. Hands it from downtown. Hayward's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Stopped in dishes to Malone. To the inside. Franklin can't hit. Pistons leading by six. Rodman with a screen on Stockton. Here's Jumars. And there's the swing dunk to finish it off. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. It's the Pistons mascot. Thomas checked in for it. Which are also for Utah. Anderson's checked in. Pistons on defense. Back to Stockton. Over Thomas. And good that time. Stockton's got his third basket of the night. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Down low. Hayward with the ball. Picked up by Malone. It's his second foul, but not the Texas end of the world. Seven, One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Thomas against Duck. Lock at six. And having Gobert gives them such a daunting presence on D. He can affect every shot in his area. And here's Thomas, who brings it up for the Pistons. Six-point lead. Serbiak passes to Thomas. Lambeer kicks to Thomas. Here he goes. The shot. No good. Good D by Anderson. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. Malone misses. Detroit leading by six. Outside Thomas. Anderson with the block. Good intensity on defense. Kyle Anderson using the length that time and timing it well to get the rejection. Thomas against Stockton. Pass to Bullock. But Trey. Detroit with the rebound. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Thomas against Stockton. Pass to Hayward. Let's it go with a three. Hits it from three-point range. Hayward's got the lead up to nine now for Detroit. And the release on Hayward's shot is so smooth. He makes the play with urgency, but doesn't let that compromise his mechanic. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. Oh, man, that is just easy for him out there. At his size, with that kind of touch, that is money. Been in the post, working on Malone. And Rodman gets it to go. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Jeremy Lamb's checked in. Stockton against Thomas. Here's Lamb. There's three pointers off the mark. Pistons leading by nine. Now here's Thomas. Here's Serbiak. Gobert with the block. And the reach and height of Gobert, it, it literally makes it impossible to score over him. He's able to get all over that shot. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Stock 
Tipped in against Thomas. Five on the clock. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Outside, Lamb. A three-pointer off the mark. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him has got to shoot that one. Hayward Two can hit. Minutes. Jazz trail by nine. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Stockton kicks to Lamb. He feeds it to Gobert. And stolen by Hayward. Serbiak passes to Hayward. 133 left in the first half of the game. To the paint. Here's Rodman. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Rodman's got 10. Looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Stockton outside. Back to Lamb. Screen by Malone. Down to five on the shot clock. And Lamb kicks to Stockton. Another miss by Utah. Pistons leading by 11. Serbiak passes to Lambeer. Hayward outside. And the three off target. It's Anderson with the drive and finished off by Anderson. Anderson has those long strides anytime he's in the open court. A difficult player to guard when he's going to the rack. Rodman with a screen on Stockton. Let's it go from deep. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. A shot by Stockton, no good. Anzo Thomas will bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. The 12 point lead, their biggest of the game. Here's Serbiak. Another three for Detroit. And really exemplifies who Hayward is. A team player, someone who enjoys spotting his open teammate. And so it's the